the new Volvo C30 is 22 centimeters shorter than its sibling, the Volvo S40. And you will find the difference at the rear of the car. Since impacts from the rear are a type of accident that can cause slow healing injuries to both the neck and spine, Volvo's safety engineers have been focusing on how to make the C30 absorb the same amount of rear impact energy as the much longer S40. And at the same time, offer a similar level of protection in the Volvo C30. The rear safety structure is designed with an optimized mix of different grades of steel to provide strength and carefully controlled deformation in a rear impact at both low and high speeds. Like this one, in which we let a 1,700 kilogram S80 drive into the rear end of the C30 at 56 kilometers or 35 miles per hour. The crash test shows how the rear cross member, which is made of ultra high strength steel, distributes the impact energy in the planned way. How the rear side members absorb most of the impact forces in the early phases of the crash as planned. That the fuel tank remains well protected in front of the rear axle. That the spare wheel moves slightly upwards, not to affect the energy absorption and that the head restraints not only help protect the neck and spine, but also help protect the head from glass shatters. The Volvo C30 is of course also equipped with Volvo's unique whiplash protection system in the front seats that has since its introduction in 1998 helped reduce long-term consequences by more than 50%. Integrated in the front seats, whips cradles the spine and neck in a controlled manner. 